Hey, what's going on? This is Stephen C., the OMAD man, one meal a day. Um, I want to talk to you. Uh, the, uh, first off, I'd like to tell you that uh, this is the way I used to look. Uh, I've uh, lost over 50 pounds in four months, four months in a few days. Got a couple new pictures of me. Uh, this is, look at my big fat face. I had fake hair for about 15 years. Look at that big, oh my gosh. I wanted to talk to you today about OMAD. OMAD is the diet for me. Raise your flag, OMAD. OMAD, one meal a day. You know, uh, my wonderful, beautiful daughter, uh, Jocelyn, she, uh, she said, you know, why don't you answer some of these people's questions? So I'd like to give a little bit of my personal history, and somebody asked me about depression yesterday. Let me tell you one thing. One, I grew up my whole life being depressed. It started about 15. My mom had depression problems. And um, what happened was, you know, I played piano and I played, I come from like a Jewish family. Everybody, oh, you got to make that money. You got to make the money. And I said, well, I'm teaching a little bit of piano and this and that. And they go, well, you better start selling pianos and doing this. And I go, but it wouldn't give me a chance to, uh, you know, to practice all the time. So before I get in, I always, you know, if you go to an AA meeting, even though I don't have an alcoholic problem, which is, you know, they always say the same few things. One, uh, you know, this is the way I used to look. And uh, what I do is I take one plate every day. You got to let your biological clock, 23 hours of fasting, eat well, for an hour, 23 hours of fasting, eat. Okay, so I eat one meal a day. I put a whole bunch of a uh, salad on there. I just drink black coffee, no sugar or cream or whipping cream and all that stuff, okay? You're gonna be hungry, okay? In fact, when you're done eating dinner or whenever your time is, make sure it's at the same time so your body anticipates about a half an hour before that, you're gonna do that. Now, I'd like to talk to you a little bit before I go into uh, about depression. This is a famous Hollywood actress. Here she looks about 27, 37, or 40. She's so overweight and sick, probably has diabetes. Now look at her, she's a knockout. The only problem is she waited 30 years to do it. So most of her life, she was, uh, she was like this. We all know her name is Rand Roseanne Barr. We all know and love her from the show. I don't love her from the show because I never watched it because I was playing piano all day. Um, and uh, now that I've lost 50 pounds, look at this. I actually was driving with my foot last night. I could, I could do things, I mean, I could, I've got all this before, before when I urinated, I didn't even, you couldn't even tell I was a man. So I wrote a song. I am a man, I am a man. Yes, I am a man. I am a man, I am a man. I'm a man. Apparently I am a man. I am a man, I am an unthub. Doctors told me I was a man, but I couldn't even tell because I was so pudgy and overweight. But I wanna go over one thing. Good morning, everybody. Good, uh, good, good morning, Bev and your sister and, uh, Everybody uh, out there and uh, Sherry and all the people out there watching the show. It's already been three minutes and I'm going to talk to you about OMAD. Okay, hey, what's going on from uh, Joe with Revolution and Jim beating obesity? I beat my uh, diabetes too, but I want to tell you something. Since the age of 15 till, uh, till off and on till now, mostly I was laying in bed. And uh, I was always depressed except for when I played the piano. <laughs> You better watch out, you better not cry Because there's a lot of junk food coming to town And you know you can You know, people say, oh, but I can't control drinking, you know, Diet Pepsi or this or that But let me just say one thing OMAD eating one meal a day Just eat one You could go without breakfast, most of you You could go without lunch And then you're going to start getting hungry Hunger equals weight loss. Everybody, say it. Hunger equals weight loss. There's two fuels for your body. Sugar, your body will eat that up like a race car, and it, or fat. I still got a little bit of fat, but I got a six pack abs here, can't touch that. Can't touch this. No, okay, make it, uh, it's already four minutes into this. Okay, listen. Thanks, Charleston, for this idea, but I had uh, somebody asked about depression, and 
All I did was play the piano to get rid of the depression and stuff, and it lasted and lasted and lasted. But um, so when I played, but I couldn't stop eating. I had a heart attack. I had four stents put in me, and what has cured my depression since January? I, I started, you know, really trying to think about this, and I was searching, and then I found OMAD. And uh, for the last four months, I haven't had one day of depression. And I tell you right now, you think I'm hyper, you think, you know, all this kind of stuff. And I am hyper. My wife's furious at me. In fact, she slept over her sister's house last night because I'm always at Walmart. I'm walking around. I just bought this new shirt. In fact, I bought four of them because they're only $4. And, <clears throat> but I wanted to say, OMAD, one meal a day has cured my depression. But people say, see, you've only been here for four months. I had depression medicine a little bit for my whole life. But eating one meal a day, right now, if I wanted to get depressed after this, you think, oh, he's all really, you know, really, really up. And, you know, I love, I pull out the love. I could sit down and pretty much play anything. Goodbye, everybody. I don't eat junk food. I've got to leave it all behind in faith. If you don't overeat and you just sit there, you just have a little bit of dinner, you're going to be hungry after it, you're going to have to face the truth. What's bothering you? You know, I always say, I always say, did someone not make you feel special? Yeah. But going back to the depression, one meal a day and activities, emotion is motion. If you have a stream and it's moving, it's going and it's going, I'm try not trying to get metaphysical, but uh, if you just, it's all collected like in the mud. If I laid down in my bed, turned on Seinfeld, bought a couple of hot dogs and chips and stuff, I would get depressed, okay? It just makes me depressed and I would turn back into this guy. I was, look at that. I spent $125 a month or more on this fake hair, but I didn't do anything about my body. This picture was a month ago and I'm, I'm thinner now. See, it looks like I have boobs on it. I, I weigh uh, 148 pounds-ish. And I just wanted to say I take lettuce and a whole bunch of, I put a lot of food on there. I went to the pizza ranch the other day and put a lot of stuff there. I had a couple beasts beef to chicken. But um, besides the fact that uh, why does OMAD work, let me tell you. Because if you had a big picnic table of a whole bunch of food throughout a seven-day week, you probably have 40 or 50 meals and snacks. But with OMAD, you have seven meals. No snacking, because every time you eat, there's a, uh, it doesn't matter if you have diabetes or not, every time you eat, there's a thing called insulin, and it spikes. If I, if I eat a piece of bread, it spikes, and it goes, okay, your sugar's getting too high for your blood, and it brings it down. If I had big turkey dinner, it spikes, and it comes down. But um, this thing with this keto and all that kind of stuff, I don't really pay much attention to it. I just don't eat a lot of carbs, but it doesn't matter. I'm reducing every day, and pretty soon, in a month or so, I'll just be maintaining. Uh, my goal in four months was 145. I, I'm now about 147. Now, my next goal is uh, January 1st, 135. So if you want to be 140, go down to about 135. So you have, I learned that from Joe at the Revolution. So you have a little bit of uh, flex. And uh, again, you better watch out, you better not cry, you know what's happening soon. There'll be a lot of people looking really, really big like a baboon. One other question somebody asked me recently, they said, Stephen, can I just put a little bit, can I just drink a little bit of Diet Coke? And uh, I say, well, you know, you should really try to take that money and use it somewhere else, just get used to drinking water. So just remember everybody, I was a fat, fat man, chomping and chomping and chomping all day. So okay, I want to thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. I post these every day. Remember, eat one meal a day. It cured my di depression. I haven't de been depressed since and uh, I don't have to worry about food. I don't think about food in the morning. I don't think about food in the afternoon. And uh, I just want to tell you, Christmas is coming now, and I have absolutely no notice of about the food. All I'm looking forward to is the Christmas lights and stuff. Okay, everybody. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Omad for life. One meal a day. And then you, you know why it works?
Because it's simple. You eat one meal a day and you forget about it. Stop being overweight. Look at this. She's a rich billionaire. She could, or a millionaire. She could have afforded anything. She spent 50 years of her life like this and now she looks good. But she's in her 70s. She lost it. She could have been, you know, she could have tied her shoes better and stuff. Whatever. Okay, well, I will definitely talk to you tomorrow. Oh, man for life.